वेलकम टू क्रिएटा क्लासेस इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल कवर द रिलेशन बिटवीन द साइड्स ऑफ द ट्रायंगल एंड द मीडियंस ऑफ द ट्रायंगल आल्सो नोन एज द एपोलिनियस थ्योरम सो डायरेक्टली स्टार्ट विद द लेक्चर दिस इज द फॉर्मूला ऑफ एपोलिनियस थ्योरम दिस थ्योरम शोस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन साइड्स ऑफ द ट्रायंगल एंड द लेंथ ऑफ द मीडियंस एज पर दिस थ्योरम द सम ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ एनी टू साइड्स ऑफ एनी ट्रायंगल equals twice the square on half the third side together with twice the square on the median bisecting the third side this is the relation if we take a triangle with sides as a b and c and ad as a median the relation will be a square plus b square is equal to twice of ad square plus c by 2 square here ad is the median we have taken two sides a and b and the median that we have taken that is ad is between these two sides only if we take side a and side c then we have to take the median be okay then this relation will change that will be a square plus c square is equal to twice of b square plus b by 2 square if we take the third median as cf then the relation will be b square plus c square is equal to twice of cf square plus a by 2 square these relations are known as apollonius theorem let's check the proof of this theorem okay this is very important this will help you in solving many question related to length of the median and side of the triangle let's take a triangle abc with median as ad okay ad is a median so d will be the midpoint that is bd will be equal to dc let's take the sides of this triangle as a b and c and let's denote the median as x let's take bd as m and dc as n here bd and dc are equal so m is equal to n just for differentiating we have taken two variables that is m and n further let's draw a perpendicular from the vertex a to the side bc let's denote this perpendicular as h okay this will be the height of the triangle let's take ed as y then be will be m minus y okay bd is m this complete length is m so this will be m minus y okay further if we take the triangle abe and apply the pythagoras theorem then we will get a square is equal to h square plus m minus y whole square okay simple pythagoras we have applied further if we take the triangle aec we got b square is equal to h square plus n plus y whole square okay we have got two equations let's add both the equations we got a square plus b square is equal to 2h square plus m minus y square plus m plus y whole square and we know bd is equal to dc that is d is the midpoint that is m is equal to n so we can replace n with m okay nothing will change so we got a square plus b square is equal to 2h square plus m minus y whole square plus m plus y whole square just pausing for a while hope you are enjoying the animated and the graphical content we have various mathematical modules on the various topics of the mathematics all created using animation and the visual tool for better learning and understanding check out the link in the description for complete details we believe in adding creativity to the learning now let's back to the lecture further let's expand this m minus y whole square and m plus y whole square on solving we got 2x square plus 2m square plus 2y square let's take two common from y square and h square are you able to observe y square plus h square will be equal to x square why if we take the triangle aed and apply the pythagoras we got y square plus h square is equal to x square okay so we can replace y square plus h square with x square So we got a square plus b square is equal to twice of m square plus x square. So we got this relation that is a square plus b square is equal to twice of m square plus x square. Let's go back to the figure. Here a and b are these two sides and x is the median that is ad and m is c by 2 that is half of the side bc. So we can replace this with a square plus b square 
is equal to twice of c by 2 square okay we have replaced m with c by 2 plus x square or we can replace x with ad that is ad square just for simplification you can take whatever you like this equation or this relation is known as apollonius theorem as per this theorem the sum of the square of any two sides of any triangle equals twice the square of half the third side that is c by 2 square together with twice the square on the median bisecting the third side here ad is the median so ad square so this is very important relation it will be used where we have to relate the sides of the triangle with the length of the median so let's move further our next relation will be based on the apollonius theorem only let's find the value of ad square from this relation we got ad square is equal to 2a square plus 2b square minus c square upon 4 similarly we can say be square that is this median will be equal to 2a square plus 2c square minus b square upon 4 okay okay same formula we have used Similarly, we can say cf square is equal to 2c square plus 2b square minus a square upon 4. Okay. If we add all these three equations and solve, we got a relation that is 4 times ad square plus bd square plus cf square is equal to 3 times a square plus b square plus c square. And ad, be, and cf are the medians and a b c are the sides of the triangle we can also say this equation as 4 times the sum of square of a median is equal to 3 times sum of square of the sides this is our another relation okay so we have done with all the relations between sides of the triangle and the medians of the triangle so covering the previous lecture and the current lecture we have covered these relations the relation between the sides of the triangle and the medians of the triangle. These are the total six relations or the six formulas. The first relation that we have covered is AC plus AB is greater than twice of AD. Here AC and AB are the two sides of the triangle and AD is the median. And this median AD is between these two sides that is AC and AB. In other words, we can say the sum of two sides of the triangle is greater than twice the median which is between these two sides. And based on this relation, we have derived our second relation. That is, the sum of sides of the triangle is always greater than sum of the medians of the triangle. Then we have seen these two relations that are 4 times sum of the medians of the triangle is greater than 3 times sum of the sides of the triangle and 3 times the sum of sides of the triangle is greater than 2 times the sum of medians of the triangle. If you observe these two relations, there are chances that you may interchange the numeric 4 with the 3 or 3 with the 2. There are much chances that we interchange these numbers. So the remembering technique is that the 3, the numeric 3 will always come with the sides of the triangle triangle that is triangle three sides or three angles the number three will always comes with the sides of the triangle okay in this relation four times the sum of median is greater than three times the sum of sides of the triangle so the numeric three is coming with the sides of the triangle and in this relation the number three is again coming with the sides of the triangle where the three times the sum of sides of the triangle is greater than two times the sum of medians of the triangle okay got it so a small remembering technique after that we have seen the apollonius theorem which is very important that defines the relation between the sides of the triangle and the median and based on the apollonius theorem we have derived the last relation that is four times the sum of square of median is equal to three times the sum of square of sides of the triangle so these are the relations between the sides of the triangle and the medians of the triangle. That's it for this lecture. Thank you very much for being with Creta Classes. Bye for now.